Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 37 of I Create Content. Hey everybody, appreciate you tuning in for today's show. If you caught our last episode, we were taking a look at Illustrator, specifically how to use the different drawing modes. I'm rushing out today, got a flight to Vegas. I gotta make it to Photoshop World. That means I gotta rush real quick and get this studio locked down. So let me do that and I'll be right with you. All right, I've got to get the studio locked up. I've got a quick tip for you in Lightroom. It's going to be real fast, probably faster than what you just saw. You guys have an excellent afternoon. I'm going to be broadcasting from Photoshop World. Check you later. All right, two quick Lightroom tips for you today. The first one is in the library module. You'll see I've got a bunch of images up on the screen in front of me. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and select some. Now, when you just want to use a a just small series out of a larger set, you can actually go and just click on it. I'm using the command key on a Mac or the control key to just kind of click through. You could also use your shift key to select a range of images. The tip is this. If you take your cursor to the right hand top right corner of the image, you can see it says add photo to a quick collection. I can click this with my mouse or I can hit B on my keyboard. When I hit B on the keyboard, it adds it to the quick collection. You'll see this under the catalog panel under the hiding Quick Collection. Quick Collection is a great way for you to just temporarily grab a group of images. Now I can take these over to the Develop module. That's going to lead us to our second tip. When you're in the Develop module, if you want to change a specific tonal value, if you click it with your mouse, in this case I'm clicking on the word Exposure in the Basics panel, I can actually now use my keyboard, the plus and minus keys, to adjust that item. So notice that as I click on recovery, it tells me that it's locked in. I can modify it with the plus and minus keys. Notice that when I click on blacks, it says the same thing. I can actually move down the panels, and this is a very quick way for you to go through and make some modifications and adjustments. So these are some quick tips inside of Lightroom today. It is Monday, so end of Labor Day weekend. I'm off to Photoshop World, <laughs> getting on a plane as we speak. So remember, I respond to the questions that you ask. Make sure you hit me up on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You guys know where to find me, and I will see you this week in Vegas, Photoshop World, and I'll be broadcasting from there. Have a happy Monday.